So I realized that there were some issues with my pick, so I'm going to be picking this. I'm going to be picking this with a different, different approach. So this is the original, original mesh. So I'm selecting the original mesh. There are some few things I would like to change in here. So on the layers for the hand poles, I'll take that down to around I think a value of zero, probably zero point two or zero point three should work just fine. So let's try zero points. Let's start with zero point three. Okay, so something around there should be fine. Since zero point three should be fine. I don't want it to be too aggressive in there. I think something like this should work. Should work just fine. So then I'm going to come in here under the zip login. The zip login. I'm going to turn on turn on adaptive for this. So under multi map exporter actually at multi under multi map exporter. So the displacement also I want to begin this at 8k resolution. I'm making this at 8k resolution. So under the export settings for the normal map, I'll turn on adaptive also. That's it will give more accurate map details in areas that take longer, but that, that's fine. Because we're using the geometry, so we want to capture all the details we can possibly capture from this. Another the displacement also. Another displacement also. The mid value should be on zero. Uh, I don't think reach and XRGB is what I need. A two bit XCR is fine. So I will turn on adaptive and then increase this sub D all the way to the highest. So one last thing I would like to do is to. I'm not too sure if I should do this or not, but let me just turn it off for now. Let's turn this off for now. So everything looks fine. So let me assign a folder to it. Let me just put this in here. Uh, I think I'll like to use the TIFF format for this. Okay, PSD and TIFF. Ah, uh, okay. This should be fine. I think all of this should be fine. Yeah, all of this should be fine. Alright. So I want to export this at subdivision level 2. The normal map, I'm exporting that also from subdivision level 2. Uh, yeah, I'll leave this on. So now let me just do an export for this. Let's see. Let's see what that gives us. Let me just name this to Z and just put Z in front. Then do an export for this. So this might take a, a while to get this out. So I'll just come back when this is done. Okay, so I've exported out my map now. So I just kind of tested it inside of Mamoset 2 bag. So this is how it looks like inside of Mamoset 2 bag. Though there's still some kind of artifacts on this box, on this box, I think this should, I think this should work just fine. Probably I won't need to be having too much of this intensity in here because this, this is around 8k. So this will kind of work just fine for what you need it for. Also, I'm using this subdivision level is in subdivision level two. This is 
So I'm using subdivision level two for the from the exports from the of the base match actually. So okay. if your base match is on subdivision level two, but I split out subdivision level two to use for my texture instead of surface painter. So I'm just going to recreate a new substance painter file. This, this is kind of the old one I had before that. So it's not really coming out the way I wanted to. So let's just so let's just create a new one set and substance painter file for this. So not this. So it should be this one. You know that's supposed to be yes, ready exposes. So this particular one. So I'm going to this. So let's add the so the same for let's add the displacement and the um, normal map. But I think I'm only I'm only going to be using normal map in here because I don't know if I should import the displacement map. I may not really have who need of the displacement map though. So let me just use the normal map instead. So I add the normal map. So I also need to add external map for the eyes. So let me just go and find the eyes where I save that in. So this is the inner eyes. So I'm going to be using one of these brown eyes. It can be any one though. I'm always the same file so I import this too. Okay, so this is fine, so I'll click OK. Discard. So I'll just give this I'll just give this a moment to kind of load up. So I have this load up loaded up in here now, so I want to Change the camera to make it something similar to what we have instead of substance, so Z brush and so focal lens. We'll just change this to 85. So more or less, want to use like an 85 millimeter lens for this. Then I'll come in here. Oh, it's supposed to be on the African male. Yes, African male. So in here, let me import the normal map. This should be normal map. So it's on 8K, so this is going to be a very large file. It's going to be a really large file. Okay, so all I have to do is kind of make this kind of make this show a bit better is to change the resolution to 4K. This is way too sharp though. Yeah, it is seems to work correctly like it should. Definitely took a lot of time to kind of render this, kind of dig this out. So this is this feels feels a bit too much though. It is actually in the box. Details are actually very strong. Okay, so let's I don't think this it just needs to be an active part. This active part is really bugging me. This active part in the face is really bugging me. It doesn't seem to make, it doesn't seem to be too much of an issue instead of moment set to, but in here it feels a bit weird. Everything else looks fine and clean, but the parts where, I think the, I think the reason being is because, the reason why we're having this active part is because the, Skin for added in here are very, very tight, they're very close to themselves, so it's kind of causing some active part in here with the AD geometry. So I also use the same AD geometry feature for the hand piece. For this hand piece, 
But it's, it's not too much of an issue here because you know I kind of took down the intensity of this fan force down a bit from before before doing the before exporting this out the, before exporting out the normal map. Probably I should have probably should have done the same thing for the face also. Probably should have done the same thing for the face. But it might not be too much of an issue. I can always go back and rebake and rebake that, but it's long time it's kind of a big. It's long time it's kind of big instead of Z brush all of this detail. But I believe that's, that should be the right way to go. So I think what I'm going to do is just to I can, I can always come back and import this back and then modify this again. So for now I'm just going to I'm just going to do a big from now. I just try to do some kind of base texture paint on top of it before going back to fix the fix this game pause in here and then kind of, kind of more or less like reducing them and then make them out again, make up normal map again. So for the eye, for the inner eye texture sets, so I'm just going to plug in the this is the inner eye, I'll just plug this in here. So right off the back, we should have this, which is fine. Okay. Then I will just come in here, go to big textures, probably pick this at uh, 2K resolution. So I want to um I'll just exclude these two. Exclude the normal map coverture, big form normal map. That's precisely what we want. Okay, then um I believe yes, I don't big normal map again. I'm guessing I should kind of big this normal this in 4K instead, kind of capture more detail out of this. So I'm capture more detail out of this. So we we'll just do a. Yeah, we we'll just do a big. Okay, let's just big this. I think everything should be fine. Let's just big this. So I'll come back when this is done. Okay, so that is. Oh, missed one thing. Uh, so I don't take this again, but I won't pick. Let me see if it affected the other ones also. Uh, it seems to affect everything. It affected everything. It's actually from the ambient occlusion, so if I should. Delete from the main base, but should delete this ambient occlusion. Should have that gone. So I'm just going to pick the ambient occlusion again. So I'm going to pick. I can just pick, I can just pick this at 2K resolution. So from this always save same name. I just need to put this on save same name. Apply to apply to all. Then I just do a big again. Okay, so I have this. I believe we have this ready now. So I'll go back to the selection. I'm about this was selection. So this particular one, I need to pick the map from from this from the model itself because there are no external maps that comes with this. So I just do a quick big for that. Okay, we have this update now. So. I think let's see, let's just apply color to this. See if this color does not come out well, then I'll just need to take this out again. Let me just apply a normal regular. Let's try this red tone. 
this after part is still missing things up like quite a lot, so I don't think we have any other options on to so make sure we pick this from this side, from this kick side, you can see it's completely fine but around this side, it doesn't look too good on this side doesn't look too good because the half for the skin pores they are just really too tight they are closely tight, tight to themselves so that's why we are having this after part in here, right beacon So to fix that, I'll just come back in here and just crank up the subdivision level for this. If I do anything now, so let me just do it with save for this file. So body XP. So let me just name this. African male SP. Okay. So instead of Z brush, what we can actually do to fix that is just the same, just basically the same as we did in here that kind of reduce, kind of reduce the skin point in here. Since we, since we have this on, since we have this on different layers. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Then we'll just make only the normal map. So maybe I should make it at 4K resolution or at 8K. I think 8K should be a better resolution to save that. So we have having issues around the year. And here also. So let's go to the So we'll go to the layers. Let's see. Should be the texture in XYZ map. Yes. Should be this XYZ port. So I will just come in there and then Turn this down to around 0 0.3. Let's see how this looks at 0 0.3. There's always a back and forth thing on see we kind of so we kind of capture something that is good enough to work with. Let me just visualize this this up and on. Seems to be hiding most of the, most of our detail though. Let's see. Though this base we have in here actually looks actually looks surprisingly good enough to work with though. But we we'll still need like we we'll still need the Tekken XYZ map on top of this definitely. So let me turn off this paint. So there. Back to the layers. Let's see. I'm just gonna compare this again. Probably bring this in a bit more. Just a bit more. Probably around something around zero point four. Somewhere around 0 0.4 should, should be fine. Yeah, 0 0.4 looks fine. I think we can actually work with this. Okay, so I'm just going to do another update again for this. Turn this off. 
Ini pasti bikin ye. Uh, let me just do the baking from up here instead. So I'm only baking normal map for this tangent split, tangent split, smooth normal, adaptive, that's fine. So I'm baking at 8 k resolution. So let me put this in a different. Okay, let me just name this to. Let me just name this two. So I'll click save and allow this. And allow this. Allow this. Allow this kind of big room. Uh, let's see. Kind of guessing if I should big this at 4K or 8K. Okay, let's just big this at 8K. Let's big this at 8K. Let's see what that gives us. So let's just pick this out. So I'm done baking. When I try to reduce the parts of parts, you see having the same similar issue. You still don't know why this is not working correctly as you should, which is very disappointing. Very very disappointing. All these parts parts are still appearing there strongly. I still them, you are still in here. I think I'm not going to use the map I baked from Momoset to back by exporting the high and then exporting the low and then baking the Momoset to back. Uh, which is pretty disappointing. It's probably an issue, probably an issue inside of this brush which I can't seem to, which I can't seem to figure out why. I'm having that. Those these issues around this. So maybe I can try something else. I have another idea in mind. Let me temporarily hide, hide this. So I will hide that for now. Then I would. Let me see, maybe this will work. If it doesn't work, then I'll just have to stick with the. Map I exported out of monoset to back. So let me just bring in this placement map in here. Maybe this displacement map should have should have something better to work with. Hopefully, it also be have something better to work with. So I imported this in here now. So what I'm going to do is on this particular layer. We just put this back to grayish tone. So what I'm going to do is to import the displacement map in here. Let's see. Let's see what that gives us. This is very strong. Probably too strong. It's probably too strong. Stronger than we need, though. So maybe you can just come in here and then take this down. Let's see. I think we can I think we can get away with this, I guess. So another thing I'm going to do is to import the map that I picked out of one set to back and then import this on top of this. So it's in here. This is the normal map is in here. So I'll just bring this normal map. Let's drag this into the scene. Now do an import. Hey, I need to define. I need to define this first. Yeah, I know. It's asking me to define. 
so texture import so the difference with this is that if I if I bring this in here now if I just drag this in here we should have something could have, could have something more or less good enough to work with more or less something manageable to work with Let's see where this strong detail is coming from. Definitely coming from here. So you guys should probably reduce this even more. Do somewhere around here should be fine. Now just stick with using this normal map from common set to but this will work just fine. The only difference is that I'll need to repeat. I need to bake all this map again using the moment set to bag normal map. So I will just use a so I come to selection. I'm, I want to bake just the African meal. So I'll turn off this normal. So I want to repeat everything again. Probably bake this out at 4K resolution, I guess. So this is the reason I'm baking. For what you generate from normal map is precisely what I want. Let's just do a bit for this. So we are done baking now. So let's just fire just fire around with the just fire around with texturing this piece up. I think this should be fine. So this piece, let me just put this around here for now. So I'm basically going to be using the um, texture in X or M, um, no, it is can store, this can store as a reference to kind of texture this 